Hi, this is John Humes, the Artistic Director of the Nashville Opera. Uh, I'm here with the cast of Carmen, and we're going to have this little video podcast. Uh, we'll talk a little about the show, and uh, uh, we'll find out a little more about the artist. Uh, before we start, uh, we are producing Carmen uh, downtown at TPAC in a couple of weeks. Um, this, uh, we will be singing in French, but for those of you that not, have not been to an opera before, we sing in French, but there is English translation projected above the stage. The Nashville Symphony will be in the orchestra pit. Uh, the conductor, who is not with us right now, is, uh, is Maestro James Mina, who is the uh, general director of Opera Carolina in Charlotte. It's his first time here with us. Uh, but here in this room with me, I have the cast. So we're going to talk a little about, uh, about Carmen, but also people don't get really to meet uh, opera singers very often, and they're actually humans that actually can sing opera. Uh, and it is a, a, it's something you train a long time for. We don't use any microphones, and, uh, and so everything you hear when you come to the show is the, the unamplified human voice, which is a terrific thing. We've lost a lot of that. If you go to Broadway sometimes, for me at least, it's so loud. I don't know what to think, and people have mics right in their face, and so even if they can't sing, they can fix that. But, uh, but all the people in this room have worked a long time to be able to sing in such a way to project their voice over a very, very large acoustic orchestra, and it's a very exciting, visceral thing. So uh, I tell you, I'm going to start uh, with David here. Uh, David, tell us a little bit about you, uh, where you're from, and your, uh, your training or some background. Um, I originally from South Korea. 15 years ago and I went to um, American high school here and then right after my high school year I went to Eastman School of Music mm. for my Bachelor of Music and Voice and then I, I went to Manhattan School of Music for my master's degree and then um, I got my trainings in several uh, young artists program such as uh, Baltimore Opera, Lake George Opera like summer festivals and then um, I got into the Metropolitan Opera Young Artist Program when I was 27, mm -hmm. and I got my training. Uh, I polished my training. I mean, I polished my, you know, talents in uh, in the Metropolitan Opera Young cool. Artist Program. Well, cool. I remember the first time we met, or the first time you actually auditioned for me. Uh, you had scheduled an audition, and right. we got word that, that the rehearsal's running long, or they want David to stay, and so he'll be here when he can. And until so like, who knows, maybe an hour later, David comes flying in the door off the subway or something, coming in going, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, and, uh, and even with that, uh, this is what you have to do as an opera singer, is you have to be able to come in and no matter what's happened in your life, right. you've got to come in and perform. And so right. you came in and just uh, and nailed it. I mean, fantastic. Thank you so much. And, uh, and, so, and you were here today with us, and I'm glad that worked. Thank I'm you. glad you are. Thank you. Uh, 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 next we have our, our Carmen Audrey Babcock. Um, and it's Audrey's second time with us. She was here last year with us with Rigoletto as Madalena. So, uh, Audrey, tell us something about yourself. Something. Uh, something. <laughs> you have dogs. You have dogs. I, have, I do. I have dogs. I love dogs. Uh, I used to rescue dogs in L.A. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh so, my God. Yeah, it's a big passion of mine, <laughs> rescuing puppies. Nice. <laughs> um, what else? I'm from Hollywood, California. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in the in the middle of it and didn't even know I was there. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, I mean, I grew up in the theater. I worked at the Santa Monica Playhouse, doing every little bit thing I could do. And um, okay. I played the flute and the orchestra. And the, I went to Peabody thinking I'd major in flute and wound up realizing that staying by myself, locked in a practice room. <laughs> practicing scales 24 hours a day or being in a room with a ton of really crazy people doing this thing called opera. <laughs> I was like, hmm, <laughs> not really a competition there. So I quit flute and uh, started singing because <laughs> it was way more fun. <laughs> cool. All right. Very good. Um, uh, uh, Scott Piper, uh, his first time with us yes. here in Nashville. Uh, tell us something about you. I am thrilled to be here All right. at, uh, in Nashville to partake of the artistic community that is vibrant and very much alive here. It's a wonderful pleasure to be invited to be part of uh, this wonderful organization. Okay, where do you live now? Are you now I live in South Dakota, Vermilion, South Whoa, Dakota. Whoa, back up. You live in South Dakota, really? I do. South Dakota's home right now. Wow. Yeah, it's like being a, 
I grew up in a small Midwestern town, Kirksville, Missouri. Okay. And I kind of like that small Midwestern town feel of just being able to get away from things. And I like to go fishing. I like to go hunting. I like to ride my motorcycle. Oh my God. I like my private time. A normal guy <laughs> in the midst of the opera world. Try to be. Wow. I like my private time. That is very cool. Yeah. I had no idea. Very cool. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jennifer Black. Jennifer was first with us when we actually opened this Noah Liff Opera Center. She graciously came down for the grand opening and sang a little stuff, and uh, and we've been, I've been wanting to have her here, and this worked out. Yeah. Uh, tell us something about you. Um, actually, uh, my family and I used to live in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, huh? for a couple of years. Um, I was very young. I was. Uh, it was the year before kindergarten and then the year of kindergarten. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have very, very, very fond memories of sliding down the hill and uh, you know on cardboard boxes and mm. stuff with my brothers and and uh, so I'm really happy to be back to this part of the country and uh, you know get to actually work here and experience Nashville and there's a big music festival that's coming up I think yeah this week yeah this okay. week and uh, believe it or not we actually do listen to other kinds of music <laughs> other than opera so I'm I'm personally very excited about going and experiencing live music like this Nashville style well this is the place to to hear it for sure, <laughs> for sure. And you live in New York now, yeah? I live in New York. Okay, okay. Uh, excellent. Well, um, uh, we just we, we just started Carmen rehearsals this week. Uh, everybody flew in a few days ago, um, and we have now pushed into uh, the middle of the show by now. We're working kind of quick and getting on its feet. So we're going to talk a little about the opera and about uh, the roles in the opera and things people need to, to watch for and look for. First of all, let me start by saying, um, uh, Carmen has a reputation of being one of the top five best operas ever written, and I think that's true. Uh, it is a fantastic piece with everything in it, whether it's uh, singing, movement, costumes, orchestra. It is just an incredible piece, an emotional roller coaster. Um, it also is interesting because the dynamic of the piece uh, is, is really different. There's, there's some comedy in it, there's some incredibly serious parts, there's tragedy. Um, when it premiered, it was not necessarily a success because people didn't really know what to make of it. It also premiered in a theater that was more, uh, uh, more known for doing more family-friendly, uh, light pieces. And <laughs> Carmen has those moments, yeah. and then it has some not very family-friendly moments yeah. at all. Um, so, so, and, but, but, uh, but uh, after its premiere, it caught on little by little and more and more, and now it's done all over the world every season all the time. Uh, so we're very proud to be presenting it here. Uh, the ticket sales are great for this. There's an old saying that the uh, uh, producing successful opera is, uh, or opera that makes money is as easy as ABC as long as you do Aida, Boem, and Carmen. So we're doing Carmen. That's <laughs> Raviata, ABC T. Uh, so we're, uh, you know, we're, we're very pleased to be doing this. So we're going to talk a little about uh, the opera with the singers here, about their roles, and uh, and so why don't we start? Actually, I'll start with with Jennifer. Uh, would you tell us uh, what you're singing and the role you're singing, and a little bit about the role? I am singing the role of Micaela, who is Don Jose's childhood sweetheart, um, and I'm still in the village where Don Jose came from, and I'm very close with his mother. His mother likes me very much. I think you know I'm a little bit of the girl next door. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm sent to give Don Jose a message and to hopefully, ultimately, bring him back to his home town. Tell him, you know, he remembers his, his village of where he grew up and he's remin we're reminiscing together. Unfortunately, uh, by the time I come to get him, uh, he's already met uh, Carmen, the mezzo, <laughs> the soprano. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so... <laughs> So yeah, things kind of go downhill from there, and uh, he gets very wrapped up in uh, in Carmen's world and um, does some kind of bad things. And so I come back once more to try to get him in the midst of all these gypsies and you know smugglers and everything. And I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just praying that I'm going to be okay. So I give the message, and uh, you'll see how it turns out. <laughs> I try though. We're going to take a short break here. When we're back, we'll be talking more to the cast of Carmen. <laughs> 